it's Shivani from Powered by Search and this video is going to be a beginner's tutorial on how to use Majestic SEO. Majestic SEO is an excellent tool that can give you a lot of information when it comes to link building mainly in terms of reviewing backlinks. So the first thing you want to do is log in of course. So when you first sign in this is what the tool looks like. You get a little bar over here to enter your domain. So you enter the link of the site that you want to do a backlink analysis for and it gives you the information on all of the backlinks to that website. Now you can do this for your own site if you want to know who is linking to you and what type of links you're getting. And you can even put in the sites of your competitors if you want to know who is linking to them and see if you can try to get the same links yourself as well. So I'm going to enter any website here. Uh, let's say I want to analyze ebay.com. Press enter and it gives me all this information over here. So at the top here it gives me a gray box with two circles representing um, trust flow and citation flow. Trust flow assesses what websites are linking to you and it's important because Google favors websites that have good quality content and have good quality links pointing to them. And citation flow on the other hand judges how influential a site is by counting the number of links that it's, uh, it's getting. So trust flow has more to do with the quality of the links that you're getting and citation flow is simply, it just simply revolves around the number of links that you're getting. And the way that you want to look at these two numbers, trust flow and citation flow, is by calculating trust ratio, which is trust flow divided by citation flow. And the idea behind trust ratio is that if your citation flow is higher than your trust flow, it means that your site has a lot of links, but barely any trust from them. And it just means that your site has a lot of spammy links. So it means that you have a lot of links, but they're not necessarily good quality links. And on the other hand, if your site has higher trust flow than citation flow, it means that the links pointing to your site are trustworthy and good quality links. So you always want to aim for a higher trust flow than citation flow. And generally, a trust ratio greater than 1 is preferred. Um, and this gray box over here also tells you about the trust flow of the categories of sites that are linking to you, and they're all separated topic-wise. Um, but this area is blurred over here because this isn't a paid account, but if you have a paid account, you can look into that as well. Below the gray box, it tells you about the number of external backlinks pointing to the site, the number of domains that the backlinks are coming from, uh, which is the referring domains, and the number of IPs that the backlinks are coming from. And this over here is important because many domains can be hosted on one IP address, which is what a referring IP is. And uh, then we also have referring subnets, which work in a fashion similar to referring IPs. Um, but instead of referring IPs, this just shows which class C subnets contain domains linking in. Now all of this info over here is part of the summary tab above. This tab is the summary tab and this is all the information over here which is actually just a summary of the tabs that follow the summary tab. So I'm not going to take too long on this tab because all the other tabs are going to explain everything in a lot more detail. Um, and below this information over here we also have um, the number of .edu and .gov links which is the um, educational and government links, which are actually the most valuable. So you do want to look into that as well. Then below that, it shows graphs of links received on a weekly basis. So you can sort of figure out when your peak time was in the past. And it gives you a pie chart below that for the type of backlinks your site gets and the anchor text. So you know keywords that you got the links for. And one other thing to note here is that below the bar where you um, put in your site, it gives you two options. So you can either search for information for your site using a fresh index or a historic index. Now historic index tells you about the backlinks from the beginning, so um, everything that your site ever got. And fresh index, on the other hand, tells you um, about the links that you got in the past 90 days. So that was uh, what the summary tab was, and I think the summary tab is really neat because you can just come in here and have a look at what's going on. But of course, if you want to get into more detail, you can look at the other tab. So I'm going to start with the referring domains. And the Referring Domains tab shows us all the domains that are linking to ebay.com. So it tells us um, the domain and the amount of backlinks that that particular domain has. So we know how large the site is. It tells us that domains Alexa rank and then trust flow and citation flow. So this gives us a good idea of the type of domains linking to eBay. And if you want to know more about any of these sites, you can just hover over the wheel over here and you can either straight away go to the URL or you can check their backlink history. Then we have the backlinks tab which gives us the specific URLs linking in. So not just the domain but the exact URL or the exact page that's giving the link to ebay.com. 
And again, for the exact uh, URLs, it gives you the trust flow and the citation flow. Uh, and it tells you the metrics for the exact URL as well as for the overall domain. And a very important column over here is the last column that shows when the link was first indexed, seen, and lost, if it doesn't exist now because it was removed or maybe the page was broken. So you do want to look into that. Um, but there's a separate tab for lost links and I'll be getting to that in a second. Um, the new tab over here, it um, shows new links as the name suggests. So it tells you about the new links received and when they were received. So it mainly shows the most recent links received. And on top we have a graph over here which shows the recent links received and you can click on any of these bars if you want to get more information about the links received on a particular date and it also lists the links uh, received down below. Then we have the lost tab and this lists out the links that are now dead or no longer existing and you can click on the bars again um, like we had in the new tab so you click on the bar and it takes you to the links that were lost on that, on that particular date and you might want to look into this for the days that a high number of links were lost. So these two days for sure. The next tab over here, which is the anchor text tab, tells us about the anchor text for the links received. And you can see which words people are using and, and you can see if any of them here are suspicious because of course these are coming from other sites and they're not always in our control. And since eBay.com is a large company, most of the backlinks have uh, the anchor text eBay. So eBay.com is getting a lot of branded links. The map tab, shows us where the links are coming from and uh, you can hover over the little dots over here for more detail. Uh, the pages tab shows which pages on the site receive the most links and in most cases it's the home page. So we have eb.com here, the home page, and this mainly just shows you which um, pages on your site are important or popular and they're being linked to the most. The link profile tab gives you two graphs. And these graphs show the relationship between trust flow and citation flow for um, the referring domains and the external backlinks. And like I mentioned earlier, we want more trust flow than citation flow. So we want the purple part of the graph to be as above the line as possible. So that was the last tab. And um, I hope this video helped you in getting a better understanding of Majestic SEO. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget to check out our blog at poweredbysearch.com slash blog. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you all next time.